Hi, this is Susan Sun, Anime Course Sun is the Future.net. Once again, we have Stanford, the team Stanford with us, and they just came in, and uh, we are fortunate enough to grab hold of one of its members. And what's your name first? My name is John Bolander. And, well, tell us a few things, cool features about your car, and also the name of your car. So, this year's car is called Zenith, and it actually has some really cool features. Uh, we did a complete redesign of the entire car from two years ago. Uh, so our aero body is one of the things that we were really proud of. Um, it's actually a lot thinner than previous years, um, reducing our frontal area. Uh, this, this seemed to be uh, what we thought would work best, but we can, ran, ran into some challenges with that. One of the uh, other coolest features of our car is actually the uh, array. Uh, it's, it's got C60 sun power um, silicon cells. But one of the coolest things about it is our encapsulation process, which we worked on intensely this year. Uh, we use uh, an actually very thin glass from Corning that is then coated with an anti-reflective coating and followed by an oleophobic coating. And what that does is it allows us to get an extremely um, high percentage of the instant light that is shone on the cells actually collecting power. So our array is, I believe, one of the best out here today um, and it's it's just encased in a piece of glass a piece of TPU uh, the cell and another piece of TPU and then we got a maximum of I believe uh, 1350 watts out in the Outback Fantastic. now when you were in the Outback uh, well let's say uh, you went through the desert with everyone right mm -hmm. so how did it feel was it dry and hot and uh, were you exhausted well the beginning was a little rough uh, we started out at Darwin and in Darwin it's very humid so we were all a little tired and glad to get out of there. And once we were in the outback, it was, it was a little drier and hot, but it was definitely more pleasant because it wasn't so humid. See any emu? Um, no, we did not see any emu, I don't think. I did see a kangaroo. It ran out in front of me while I was driving Leeds, so missed it. Well, how long are you guys staying here? Uh, I think some of the team members are flying out in the next couple of days. Uh, the rest of us are headed down to Melbourne pack up the car and we'll head out to other adventures around the world in the next couple weeks or so. And what branch of engineering are you in? Uh, assuming, I assumed you are in engineering. Right, so I am an electrical engineer. I worked on the light boards on the car and all the lights and there were another several other electrical engineers that helped with the electrical system and then there are uh, many mechanical engineers that helped with the car. So are you thinking of, well let's see, once you graduate would you be interested in uh, working for solar industry? I mean, the solar industry is one of the reasons why I started working on the car. It's uh, definitely what attracted me in the first place. Um, the solar industry is, is very broad. There are many different aspects of what to work on, and I hope to work on some aspect of it, yes. Fantastic. And I hope you will take dip. <laughs> but, uh, but in most cases, uh, I think uh, this is a wonderful time because you guys came back in, and it's wonderful to be able to finish. And you are actually in the top five or six. It's, it's a very, very, uh, very a great accomplishment Thank because you. about I understand in the past only about a third of the cars could actually um, not run into any particular problems to hold them back. Well, I, th I think that's actually the, the case again this year. We actually could not, unfortunately, finish the entire race. I don't know if you heard, but there was uh, unfortunately a stor storm that rolled in a uh, day or two ago. Um, there wasn't sun for a couple days. It was very windy and. Uh, we, as well as several other teams, had to call it quits. We, uh, without sunlight, there was nothing to run the car off of. Um, so our battery pack eventually ran out. We charged it again, drove some more, but we just couldn't do it without the sun. Right, they, do, they do have restriction on how much uh, battery capacity you can carry, right? So they want you to be mostly reliant on the sun's energy. Isn't that true? Yes, that's correct. So uh, to begin the race, you can start with a full pack. And the size of your pack is determined by the weight of the cells. So you are only allowed to have so much battery pack. And you can start with a full pack, but then from there on out, you can only charge off of sunlight. Yes, and I, yes, we will appreciate this piece of information. And for those of you who might be interested in racing in the future uh, with WSC or the Veolia World Solar Challenge, uh, what kind of advice would you have for them? Um, keep with it. It's a difficult process. Uh, there's many, many aspects of the solo car racing that just you have to get into. Um, 
There's the aero body, which is very crucial, as we definitely learned in this race. Uh, this, the type of um, you know, solar panels you use are definitely crucial. How you get the power from those, your pack, and then even you got to make sure you have a good strategy team during the race. Uh, a team that knows what's ahead, how to handle with it, what speed to drive at. All that is crucial, and uh, if you can get in the top few teams, then that's what happened this year, and they were lucky. They, they missed the storm, they missed the clouds, and they could successfully finish the race. Timing. Exactly. Timing, and how lucky they are. That's also important. It's very very important. good. And thank you very much. Really appreciate these Thank few you minutes. very much. And uh, hope you have fun the rest of the day. I will. Okay.